Hey guys, so I'm working on my second project for the Let's Make Art kit that I got, and I thought this was super sweet. They included a postcard uh, with this gentleman's address on it, and a story about uh, how active he is in sports with his kids and stuff, and I guess he ended up having a stroke, So that's his picture right there. And um, they're encouraging the people that buy the kits to um, paint him a postcard, and I'll mail that off. Now, I don't know, this is part of the, what came in the envelope. Uh, I don't know if you guys are artists out there, but I don't know if it has anything to do with it. I don't know what this is exactly. Um, I didn't see anything on YouTube as far as a tutorial for this. So I'm going to wing it. And um, keeping with the theme of, of me living on, now on, living on the coast, I'm going to paint, I'm going to dry to paint a picture of the um, like an ocean scene. Now what I'm doing here is I'm giving it a little bit of a border um, in addition to or a frame, a border, same thing, um, in addition to helping keep the paper down. Um, when you work with watercolors, um, speaking for myself I should say, uh, I do tend to put too much water on it and it buckles up the paper. So that's one of the techniques that I am I am really trying to do, get better at is um, not putting so much water on it. Uh, there are things that you, if there's certain looks that you are looking for, that you want to put a lot of water on, but in most cases, yeah, not so much. Okay, so what I like to do, I don't know exactly what kind of watercolor paper this is, but I might like to do what's called prime the paper. Now, this isn't the right kind of brush. I put my brushes away in another room, so I'm not too much water. I'm literally just going to prime the paper. And you kind of let it sit there for a few minutes and um, have that soak in. Um, if you have a heat gun, which I do, um, you can also use a heat gun, but my heat gun's not available. It's literally in a cupboard somewhere, so. All right, so I'm just gonna use my little paper plate that I got at Smart and Final. Um, also, I'm gonna be switching over to the tubes of watercolor. This one here is called a Dollar Roni, and um, I like the colors. These are the colors that I'm gonna be using for this particular scene. All right, so let's get started. Now, I wanna go ahead and use blue, and that's gonna be my background, but I'm gonna make it very, very faint. I'm gonna just make the whole, I always, white is my go-to, because um, I'd be blending in to make that a really light blue. If you have, I am definitely gonna stop and get here another brush. Sorry for the being prepared. I'm just grabbing, oh, you know what? I like to use these better for backgrounds. But I was gonna pull this one out. See how this one's flat? This one's not a very quality paintbrush. I have no idea where I got that one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and soak this. You guys, I'm over here in my water. Let's see if I can get that in the frame. And I'm going to pull a little bit of the blue over to the side here. And then I'm going to go ahead. I was going to use the paint sponge to pull in the white, but I'm going to go ahead and use the brush to bring that in. Okay, that should be good enough. And just mix it up. That white was kind of cakey. I don't know how old these paints are, coming to think about it. Okay, we'll see how this works out. I may have some weird stuff going on here, but... Okay, so I'm literally, probably can't even see this, going to bring this across. Now, it's doing the exact thing that I want it to do. Um, I'm going to pull this in just a little bit. Nope, that's out. You can see the streaks going across. Bingo, that's what I want. Okay, so I'm going to set that down in there. And again, I'm going to go ahead and try to dry it off a little bit. Because if I try to paint on it right now, it's going to splatter out and I don't want it to. 
I'm just touching it to see how dry it is. You can still see my fingerprints, so. Just dry this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in, um, I'm gonna use this brown here. This is called Yellow Okra. That's gonna be my beach sand. Uh, I do believe that these paints are too old, but I'm gonna just finish this video. I'm sure it'll be fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my slanted brush, and let's see if it has any, it's called a half inch angle. And um, when I was using the liquid paints from Let's Make Art, I found that you did not have to add as much um, water. I had never used liquid watercolors before. Okay, so that's a little bit of sand there. Nice. Not sure why I use the angle brush. I just decided to do that. So, all right. Now I can give it a little bit more texture and draw in some lines, or even soften those up a little bit. Use those as sort of adding color. As I'm putting the water on it, you see how the lines kind of disappear. Okay, I'm going to build up a little dune here. Not an obvious one. But, as you know, beaches do have... They're not completely flat. to put a little bit of ocean in there and let's go ahead and bring in this color here which is there it is ultramarine I'm going to put it right here next to this light blue um, I don't know if you guys noticed that but when I put the blue in there it spread out I'm going to pull this out a little bit all right now we're going to go ahead and put some ocean on there Trying to figure out what brush I'm going to be comfortable with. I tend to go to the number eight. Okay, now you're going to have a lot of colors in here. Well, not you, but me. Because the ocean is more than, you know, just a regular blue. Now, um, I would say it's probably important to make sure that that brown completely dries. Um, I am intentionally not touching the brown um, because during this video it will just take too long to wait for it to dry but you're going to want to do that get out get out your heat gun or just let it sit nice I do like how that is using the water that's already in that paint and spreading out. Getting real brave here, I'm bringing it down in there. Okay, so then you're gonna have your waves that are coming in. I'm going to go ahead and add the white that has no water on it because there's already water on my paper. And that's just going to be part of that look where the water is splashing down. The wave is crashing down me. Now 
let's go ahead and use this little tiny brush and add a little bit more detail of the blue. Just going to wet my brush just a tiny bit so that we can blend that in a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and just add a little bit more of that color of blue. I'm going to go ahead, now that I'm looking at this, I'm going to bring this up a little bit and onto the edge of the paper. Because really the effect is that the, um, the wave is coming this way and then you're hitting on the shoreline. So we're going to do that. We're going to bring that up. I'm going to grab some more white. And you know, the, the one thing that I um, always want to talk about when I'm doing any sort of art videos is that I'm a complete amateur. I mean, I, I love, love to paint. And it's the one thing that hopefully if you decide to try is there are um, techniques that you can learn, but it's really all about what you're enjoying. It's not something that you need to stress about um, or compare yourself to other artists or anything like that. I mean, you, you truly... It is about relaxing and um, just making it your style. And it's like a, writing music or writing a book, is you know that not everybody's gonna like it. Everybody has their own tastes um, and opinions and, and all that is fine. That is perfectly fine. That's, that's when it comes to critiques, you know, they have movie critiques and art critique. My paintbrush is obviously old. Art critics and this kind of thing. And, you know, they, they have a right to their own opinion. It's how you felt when you were creating. And um, I also like to scrapbook and make cards. The same thing goes with that. You know, it's all a technique of art. And it's all a matter of someone's opinion. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then I most likely I'm not happy with this white at all. I'm 100% sure it is just too old. Okay, um, now I'm going to do my sun and I need a little bit brighter of a yellow. And I already have my blue on here so I'm good with that. I'm going to just drop that yellow in on that plate right next to that blue. This is a really bright yellow. I definitely am going to have to check these tubes. This shows you how long it's been since I've actually painted. Yeah, that's not coming out at all. All right, let's see if I can grab, I've got some sitting over here. Here's a pretty, this is with Liquitex, and the color of this is Cadmium Yellow. Actually, I knew that. I don't know why I had to look. All right, that's a really bright yellow. And I got to throw that paintbrush away because it is getting all over my paper. It wasn't the brush, the brushes, it was actually the... Uh, the um, stick of the paintbrush. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of a sunset here, just a tiny bit, or sunrise, whatever you would like. And 
And you see how this is dripping down into that blue? That's what I wanted. And to create that a little bit more of that, I can add a little bit more water to it. And your sun is not going to be perfect because suns just aren't. I'm going to bring in a little bit of this darker yellow, I think, if it'll get on my brush. We'll see. And that's just giving it a little bit more texture and color. Bringing that back down into the ocean here. Nice. Now I'm going to just set these aside here for a second and literally bring in my bag here because I would really like to have a little bit of purple in this. Um, this one is called Ultramarine Blue. Oh, I already have this one on my plate. Let's try it. This one is Cobalt. And this is what's fun about it is you just grab colors and, and try different things. And um, this is Brilliant Purple. Since I no longer have my tiny little brush, I guess I'm just going to go with this one here. This one's at number six. Oh, let's mix these two together. And I'm just going to use my paper towel to help. I can even use my finger to help pinch it a little bit. Okay, it's just going to be a couple of strokes coming down here like this. See how it's just a tad darker? Because we want it to show coming down over to the ocean. Okay, now I'm over here looking at this tiny little brush, and this is um, around, it says 10 over 1, which I'm not sure what that is. All right, now I'm going to get this black, and this is ivory black, and I want to paint, some, oops, I got a little carried away with that one. Uh, I'm going to paint some seagulls on here. brush needs to be wetter, more wet. We'll do three. Okay, now I want to do some clouds and I'll show you how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and wet my paper again. Just, oh, right here, right here. And then I'm going to take this brush here and I'm going to drop the color in. Add a little bit more. Struggling with that white again. We're just going to make some puffy clouds here. Um, I like how it, using the base of the uh, water that I just dropped in, uh, I like how it spread out, but I also had a little bit of yellow in that water, so it's, it's bringing out some yellow as well. just make this clouds really soft. I don't want you to see too much of the the texture of it. Now this behind here is a little bit lighter so it looks like the clouds. 
And I don't quite don't want to touch the seagulls because they will blend in and I don't want that to happen. All right. I'm really liking how that yellow looks in here, so I'm going to just, just dab a little bit in there and wet my brush so that it spreads out. And I'm going to do the same down here. I'm thinking of also adding some purple. I might regret this. I do not. I do not regret it at all. Okay. Just added a tiny bit of purple down in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I have a tendency of doing this when I'm trying to <laughs> decide what brush I need. I'm going to add a little bit more brown down in here and this is a technique that I learned in school actually but forgot I didn't take I didn't take art school but I mean one of the art classes I took I should say that um, and I just was reminded about this technique when I did the first um, painting of the let's do art is to add salt to it now I don't want the salt to be above this so I'm like frantically looking around my desk to try to find something that I can cover this with but I'm just going to take the chance. Okay, the key is you got to have it wet or the salt effect is not going to work. So I'm going to go back in and that's just going to give it texture to the sand. Okay, so far, nice. Okay, so I found this really cool stamp in my stamp sets. Um, some of these are actually really funny. Um, it's from Dilutions, which is Ranger. And... Um, I thought this would be appropriate. I gotta really think about this. Um, what appears to be the end is usually the start of a new beginning. Okay, that one's a little bit more serious, but um, some of these are funny. It says, I don't like morning people or morning or people. <laughs> You're kind of cranky, huh? Um, it, 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 it's better to take a risk than miss a moment of magic. So I'm just gonna hold that up there a second. You guys can see there's a whole lot of really funny things here. Um, you would think with your multiple personalities, at least one would be likable. Ooh, that one's a bad one. Anyway, so I'm going to be using this one. And um, I want my, my painting completely dry. I don't want to stamp on it right now because it will spew out all over the place. And um, I'm probably just going to stamp it right there. I'm going to take it off the acetate. Yeah, I'll just put it right there. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to stamp it. I'll take a picture of it, and I'll put it on my blog, uh, cardcreationsbykim.blogspot.com. And yes, I'm literally throwing that tray of old paint away. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Um, try watercolor. You can get sets for really, really cheap. And just sit down and, and relax with it. Have fun. Let me just zoom this in a little bit. Someday I'll get the zoom in part on this. And there is the final. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.